All right, just a second, make sure this is working. And there we go, we are live. Man, it's been a while, but uh, sorry about that. I uh, was on vacation, I was tired, it's just beat. But I'm back, um, still catching up on some stuff, but um, I have seen over the uh, past couple of weeks or so, I don't know what, I don't know what happened. Maybe it's the same people. Um, but I've seen uh, quite a few questions come up on how to work with the layer list items inside the layer list widget. They want to do various things with them. Uh, there was one weird question that wanted to control the visibility of all the items in the layer list when you click on one thing. And um, there was another one about um, just accessing the layer for the item and then doing something with it. So I figured, you know, the questions come up enough, might as well uh, make it, uh, do a little video on it, just a quick one to show you how you can do some interesting things with the layer list. And I'm basically just going to focus on the items. There's a lot you can do with the layer list widget, right? It's, I highly recommend you check out the doc, check out the samples. It's got this really cool um, stuff in here where it's like properties. Uh, list item created function, which is like what you would do most of your really cool stuff with it. And this is where you can create like custom actions inside the layer list and whatnot. I'm not going to cover that because I think the doc and the samples do a really good job of it. But if someone wants me to cover it or has a specific question about what can you do with these um, actions and stuff, let me know. I'll, um, no, we can figure something out. I mean, you can pretty much do anything you want. It's up to you. Uh, but what I want to talk about real quick is going to be this selected items. Because it seems to be when the question pops up, it's always about I select something in the layer list and then I want to grab the item and do something with it other than an action or whatever. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know what you people are doing sometimes. You surprise me. But it's good. That's cool. Um, so let's take a look at what um, this selected items does, right? So these selected items are going to be basically, you know, when you select a item on the layer list widget, it goes into select items, right? And you notice it's a collection. It's a collection of list items. So if we look at what the list item is, that has some other properties, right? So the list item has the actions and stuff on it. The actions open, sections, blah, blah, blah. Uh, children. So there could be uh, other list items under it. For example, this one here, right? So this growth potential is a list item with children list items right so this can get pretty nested if you got a little crazy about it um depending on your map service which i've seen some pretty nutty stuff uh, it also has the access to the layer and the layer view by the way uh, not just the layer um let's see here uh, it has whether it's open in the layer list right so that pretty much is going to be uh, this arrow here so that's uh, open false open true uh, well, there, open true, and so on and so forth, right? You get the parent item, um, got the title, got access to the view from there. So if you're accessing this um, layer list widget outside of the map view for some reason, some sort of an app or something, you got access back to the view and do whatever you want to do with it, right? So we're going to focus on getting access to the layer and then doing something with that layer after the fact. So, okay, so I've enabled selection true on the layer list widget here. Uh, I'm going to wait for view.when because I want everything to happen and jive and do all its cool stuff, right? So now what I can do is because the selected items is a collection, and I've talked about collections in the API in the past, so go back and look at those videos if you want a bit more details. But basically now I can go ahead and say something like uh, layer list selected items on, right? Because we're listening for events. It's not watch. You're not watching for a property change. We're going to listen for an event to happen here. And I'm going to listen to, um, I don't know, uh, the change event. I, I, I know there are more specific ones. Uh, if I go to a gal list item here, go back to the layer list, uh, come back to events. Oh, no, that's uh layer list. Am I a layer list? Yeah, I am a layer list. No, no, sorry. I mean, for the collection. So if I go to the collection for selected items and look at the events on the collection, there's a after ad, after changes, before ads, so on and so forth, right? Um, so let me see here. So you no, know let's do this. Let's do after ad. 
right? We'll, we'll, we'll get very specific here. I don't care about what was removed. I only care about what the currently selected item is. So that is going to be uh, an event that returns back an item. Oh, wait. I got to do this. Yeah, like so. There we go. And just to be sure, I'll log it out. Because I'm working at CodePen, so I'm not going to, um, you know, if I were smart and working locally, I would put a debugger statement there, but I'm not that smart. Uh, okay, so here we go. So there is the item. And one of the things you can look at. So this is a top-level item. Um, the item is going to be, uh, with have a layer, that layer is going to have a type of group because it's a top level item. So basically, um, it's going to you know, group stuff in here and whatnot. Right. And I don't know this web scene, uh, what's in the web scene here, what it's got. So, uh, it's just the way things are set up. It's going to be a group layer. So this one, I believe this is going to be a group two because it has two items under it. So layer, blah, blah, blah. Uh, if we look at type, group. Okay. So it's it's a group layer here. And then these are probably going to be, you know, I assume feature layers. I really, I don't know. So, okay. So we got an item here. And I want the, get rid of that. Okay. So what I can do is, um, Heck, I really don't know what you would do here. Let's say I want to zoom to the full extent of the layer for whatever reason when I click on it, right? So um, I know I can't do that in a group layer. So if layer dot, ah, come on, dot type is not equal to group, then I can go ahead and do something like that. So I can go and say something like view dot go to, and I can never remember. I, I don't know if you need target here. I think I could just pass the extent, but um, I don't trust myself. There we go. Layer dot full extent. What am I doing? I'm... Okay, let's do this now. Item dot layer. Sorry, there is no layer. Item dot layer. Item dot layer. Okay. Close that up. Yeah, close that up. All right, so now, uh, so if I click on these, it's a group layer, so nothing's going to happen. But if I click here, let's turn this on. All right, so got my data here. So if I go to housing, bam, it zooms to housing. All right, so if I turn on housing. So, okay, so notice this. I've clicked the radio button, but the item itself is not selected because I clicked the radio button. You can tell by the accessibility uh, little halo around here. But if I click on housing now, Bam, there we go. So now it's selected and it's going to go ahead and zoom out. If I zoom in, click on jobs, and I zoomed out. So selected has that little uh, thicker edge here, right? I think that's what that means. That's some, that's some, that's some UI right there, people. Or UX, what do you call it? Yeah, whatever. You get, you get my drift. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, so I got my layer. Maybe you just need to know, uh, keep track of this for whatever reason, right? So, um, okay, so let's see if it is a group layer. So what can I do if it's a group layer? I don't know if this is gonna work. I'll tell you right now, probably, probably, blah, 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 wasting my time here. But um, let's get the layers from the group layer, right? So if we come to, I didn't want this to be a group layer uh, video but it just happens to be group layers in here. Uh, I want to zoom to that one as well, right? So, okay, so we have a group layer. It's got some properties. It's got a collection of layers, all right? Um, now, I don't know if these are loaded layers yet. They should be, I believe. Honestly, I don't know. Okay, so let's say if it's group. So we're going to iterate over these. So item dot layer dot layers, and we'll do for each. Instead of me doing like a, a for loop thing, uh, let's just do a for each. So we're going to say that we got a layer now. All right. Uh, let me console.log my layer. Because that is how true debugging happens on the fly. Get my drift. Did I do something wrong? 
Wait, it doesn't like this. Wait, oh, okay, so it's a. Uh, let's comment that out. Let's see what happens here. What I do? It's stuck. Is my internet jacked up? Which is possible, meaning that if my internet's jacked up, the stream just froze. Um, but no, I don't think it did. I think it's just uh, this thing. Okay, so I saved it. Oh man, I don't know what happened here. Okay, let's take this here. So, eh, yeah, it happens sometimes. Don't blame me. Okay. All right, so let's do that. Open this. There we go. So I click on this one. I get two layers in here. Um, what is the title? IDs are useless to me. Let's look at title. Transit stops planned. And... What is this one? Transit stops planned? Huh? Huh. I, I don't know why it's in there twice, to be honest with you. Um, but... Let's do this oh is it loaded oh that's a good question let me see load status or loaded load is true loaded okay so at this point let's make this um async and i'm gonna go ahead and say that uh const extent is gonna be equal to await layer dot query extent now I, for the life of me, not remember if I have to actually pass a query to this. I think it'll just give me the extent. Let's find out. Oh yeah, so I got an extent. Okay, so let's do this. Huh, so there are two layers there. See, the number is different. The count is different. Okay. That's cool. Cool with me. Cool with me. All right. So let's just do this. We're going to return that extent. Let's change this to a map now. And let's just change this to a const, uh, I don't know, extent, async extents. All right. Okay, All right, naming things is hard, right? Okay, so it's a, a wait. Do I have to wait? No, I don't have to wait. Um, okay, let me do this. Wait a second here. Wait a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm trying to think to my head here because I already waited for it in here. I don't think I need to await for it again here. So let me see if this will work. Go to target async accepts. I don't know. Uh, let me, uh, all right, let me zoom in. All right. No, that didn't work. Now, I don't know what kind of error I'm getting here. I'm gonna get any errors. Okay, okay. So let me uh let me look at this. Log. Are these promises still or not? Warnings. No. They are promises. Okay, okay. All right, all right, I need to unwrap that. Uh, all right, let's try this. Oh, wait. Oh, it's not all. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll, um, we'll find out in a second here. My brain is just not cooperating with me today. Like, 
have an idea of this how this should work, but it's not gonna work. Um, all right, so I know how to do this this way. So if I just do this and I say like this. Wait a second. Give me a break. I just want this to be a regular old promise. For extent dot then a and we want to return a dot extent. Right? Right, right, right. But I don't think it's gonna work anyway. Yeah, it didn't work anyway. So I don't know, I did something wrong. But um, either way, I'm still able to get to this stuff and uh, figure it out. So you can count this one as a loss for me. The uh, group layer, iterating the layers to query the extent beat me. Um, or maybe the target doesn't like that. But there are multiple geometries. I would think of it like that. I don't think I need to union anything. And I think I could reduce over this. Oh, do I want to do that? I could reduce over this and uh, union the extents, right? There's a, I believe there's a union method on the extent to do it and so forth, whatnot. But you get the idea. <laughs> All right, like I said, we'll count that one as a loss against me tonight because uh, I'm tired. But the whole point of this video is just to show you how you can get access to the layers that represent what's actually in the layer list via the items and selected items and stuff, right? So it's actually a really cool layer. I need to do more 3D stuff. Ooh, that looks nice. Look at that. I mean, I know it's just a visual effect here. It's not like a effect effect, but that kind of looks cool. Almost a glowy type stuff. Anyway, that's how you can go ahead and get access to the layers from the events via the list item. And the list item, like I said, has a lot of information on it. Uh, if I go back, go back, go back, go back again. Come on. Uh, right here. So you have all this different stuff on the list item you can do, right? Get the layer view, do some client side stuff. I, honestly, I don't know what you're gonna do with just that, but do what you want, man. It's your app, you, you can roll with it, uh, build cool things. So I'm out, tired for the night. I've been defeated by this layer list, completely humiliated. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, hit me up with any questions you got stuff. I'm still working on an app that I could kind of walk through and show how to build and stuff um just i'm kind of brainstorming through some app ideas at the moment uh it's probably going to be with view by the way in case you're curious